Today I want to talk to you about how my Canon Rebel T3i actually made me a better camera operator. Stick around and I'll show you how. What's up homies, my name is Gary. I'm a content creator, photographer, cinematographer, and I also work in broadcast as a commercial producer. So let's address the elephant in the room. The Canon Rebel T3i is a very old camera. It came out in February of 2011, and I didn't get mine until about 2013, and I also got it secondhand. It was my go-to camera for up until about a year ago when I actually got my Canon EOS RP, which I love. And I've been using the RP for about a year now. I'm actually coming up on a year and a in a few months and I, I freaking love this camera but it's not about the rp today it's about my baby the first the goat the goat my canon rebel t3i now you might be asking yourself gary how can that old ass camera make you a better camera operator well i'm gonna tell you baby unlike most cameras that are coming out today it didn't come with like eye detection autofocus or image peaking or anything like that i had to do all the focusing manually because autofocus sucked. I mean, in the beginning, I was shooting a lot with my buddy Alex, and I'm like, why aren't my images coming out as sharp? I don't understand. Granted, I was being impatient. I was a beginner, but I really had to realize that I, I needed to dial in the settings, the ISO, the shutter speed, the aperture, and figure out what they are. What is this? What is the buttons? These guys, these guys moves and gizmos are plenty. Some of the other features that it lacked was like Wi-Fi connectivity and shooting at high frame rates. I think the highest frame rate you could shoot at was like 60 frames per second at 720. But it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. I really had to figure out what the ISO and shutter speed and all that stuff was and how it was a balancing act and make it work for me, my content and my client work so that I can have complete creative control. So shooting with the T3i actually helped me slow down, compose my shots, and really I gained a deeper understanding of my camera and how the whole balancing act of shutter speed, aperture, ISO, all that worked to create beautiful images. So homies, if you find yourself using a camera that may be limited, do not fret my pet. Don't get discouraged. Be encouraged, because your boy Gary aspires to inspire. Embrace the opportunity to refine and like really dial in your skills because it's only gonna benefit you in the long run. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and ring that notification bell so you will never miss another video. But until then, I will catch you guys later. It is ridiculously hot in my office and I need to get the fudge up out of here. Bye! <laughs>